Real quick little video here just on tidying up data in Roots Magic. Maybe a lot of use for some new users. Been a lot of stuff on the forum recently about tidying up data, duplicate information, information in the wrong fields. So what I'm focusing on at the moment is where data is misplaced. We can see the residence place here. We can see the residence place details here. But in this little group, we can see that a lot of the residence description fields actually have um, street addresses, different things in it that should be in the place details field. That's what I want to deal with. So on your sidebar, click on the groups, click on this icon. Click on new, mark group, select people by data fields, and I have residence value is not blank or residence family value is not blank. Click OK, it's found 242 people. OK to that, call the group whatever you want. Click OK, close that. Now on the people tab here, you've got this drop down. So at the moment I have this on residence value not blank. Where's my test group? There it is there. So with the residence value here, so this is obviously a marital one. Let's have a look. So the marriage, residence family. Yes, we can see here that it's not blank. And we can see that the, that the stuff is in the description field. When you customize this view, you can choose whatever columns you want to display. So I normally just populate this with a whole pile of popular columns. And then what I, what I do is I just click on them and move them up so that they're in focus on the, on the screen. The one column you do want to have here is this last edited. A lot of people can't find this field because they expect it to be date last edited, but if you know it's last edited, that's a good clue. The one I wanted to show you here was this one. So there's been a lot of bad press about county check and different things like that there. So, and these both these facts were the same. So this Blakely Lacka, Pennsylvania, so we can see that the street address is actually in the description. I don't want it to be there, so I'll copy that, stick it in here. And what I like to do is suffix the address with the actual number. This groups them all together in the place details rather than being convoluted with the number being the prefix. Take this out, and we'll save. And County Check has popped up and told me that LACA never existed in Pennsylvania. Blakely may belong to one of the following. So there's a whole list of things here. I'm no expert on US geography, county names, etc. So even this is confusing to me at the moment. So I'm just going to say keep original place at the moment. Flick over to my web browser and I'm doing a, a search for Third Street, Blakely, Lacka, Pennsylvania. And it's telling me it's showing the results for Third Street, Blakely, Lacka, Pennsylvania. And it's not terribly informative to me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick back to Roots Magic. And this little icon over here, this is your gazetteer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. And immediately it tells me that Blakely, Lackawanna, Pennsylvania, United States. I'm going to paste that to the place. So what's actually happened here, well, this has been an import from someone else. They've actually abbreviated the correct place name of Lackawanna to Lacka, locally known as AKA, whatever you want. But it's not an exact address, so now we have the correct address in there for both of these entries, and we're perfectly happy. You can take off the United States if you want. Um, I prefer to have them. You can always take it out in the abbreviated place name. How do we get to the abbreviated place name? Well, let's go here, edit. So you've got Blakely Lackawanna, Pennsylvania, United States. As far as I'm concerned, that should be the standardized place name. And if I go down to the abbreviated place name, so now I have three. I'm going to take the United States off up here. So you have choices for reports here. So your your correct place name for geocode, and if I click geocode, Blakely Lackawanna, Pennsylvania, United States has been geocoded. What's going to appear in the place list is this entry. The full entry is this entry, which is concise. And you can also choose this for reports, which is more of a locally known as or local sort of how it would be referred to locally. So you have a lot of choices there. We can add a place note there if we want. We can add some media. We can add web tags. And that's how I'm resolving my sort of problems at the moment. I still have Blakely Lackawanna here. If I do print, generate, we now don't have any facts using that. We close that, back in the place list, this is the erroneous entry. If we look at our unused place details, we can now see that it appears in here and we can delete it.
So I keep County Check turned on. It helps me greatly improve the quality of my place list. Now I'm not US based, I'm in Ireland and I would be no expert on the US system, the states, the counties, the townships, etc. So for me it's a bonus. So here we are with our Blakely Lackawanna, Pennsylvania. On the right hand side here we can see our two place details. If we click the place details button here and we hit edit, we can add in latitude and longitude for this place. We can add a place details note. Maybe it's describing a business address. We can add a place details media. Maybe it's a photograph of the business itself. For now, these extra items will greatly enhance our database. And in the future, when Roots Magic rewrites the reporting system, Hopefully they will enhance our reports as well. Well, I hope this little video has helped our new FTM and TMG refugees who have embraced Roots Magic as a new home for their genealogy. And hopefully it saves you all a little bit of time in the future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to receive email notifications of follow on videos becoming available, please feel free to subscribe using the subscribe button on YouTube. Vote the video up or down using the thumbs up or thumbs down icons or leave your comments for myself or others possibly to answer and help you.